with the second pick, with the third pick, the 1994 NBA draft, the Detroit Pistons select Jason Kidd, Grant Hill, from the University of California, Duke University. The 94 draft, I was, this is where dreams are made of, right? You know, all the hard work, uh, sitting in that green room, um, hoping to, you know, go to the team you wanted to go to. And, you know, that night in Indianapolis was was surreal. Yeah. Just to hear my name and my family and friends so excited, um, you know, it's still, you know, playing back at that round table here and, and being able to put, you know, the hat on your head. I don't know if my suit was was real nice that night, but... The GQ white suit, I still remember ooh, that, that, man. That, it was, uh... yeah. <laughs> yeah. Maybe we should do a different color. <laughs> But yeah. it was just surreal, and it was just like one of those moments that you'll never forget. We were in that green room, and everybody has their tables, and and we're all, you kind of know where you're going, where you're going to go, but you're still nervous. You're scared. <laughs> you're scared, <laughs> like, I hope they didn't change their mind. And I remember when they called, Dallas called your name. Right. I was clapping. I was excited. <laughs> I was excited for you, but I was like, okay, now I'm, I'm going to Detroit. You're and, set. And not that I thought that I was going to Dallas, but it was just... It's weird. Like, even the top picks, you Get think... Nervous. It may it's unbelievably nerve-wracking. Yeah, it is. And, uh, and so, at that point in time, as you, your name's called, and you're walking up, and you shake the commissioner's hand, like, that's, that's the highlight... That's it. ...of your career. That's right. But really, that's, that's when it all begins. That's the start of the journey. <laughs> yeah. Is when you shake his hand, and then it's like, okay, now you gotta go prove yourself. Now, kid, took it away from Stockton. He's going coast to coast. Grant Hill spins on Sprewell and slams! He doesn't like the comparison, but the many have already started looking at comparing him to Michael Jordan. I think my first year, I, I was fortunate that I got off to a really good start. Yes, you did. And I remember like you the were first rolling. two or three weeks. Oh, you rolling. I was calling my boys, like, man, this is easy, man. Like, <laughs> I, you know, and I, I'm coming out, I'm like 23, 24 game. Oh. And, and I think, in part, I think a lot of, you know, as you know, when, you, when you're a new player, they have to figure you out. Right. The scouting report is not quite... They didn't have a scouting report. They didn't have a scouting yet. report. No. And I think with me, it helped because you didn't have a lot of small forwards who could come downhill and come at you and, and, and the way I did. And so, uh, so you know, I'm, I'm, feeling, I'm feeling full of myself. And then all of a sudden, like, they start figuring you out. <laughs> and then it took a little bit of an adjustment. But, you know, I, I know for me... Um, it was a bit of a whirlwind that first year. But you did a great job, because like you say, you came out of the box and you hit right off the box. You rolling. And so when you talk about all-star valid, not just rookie game, but you're playing in the big game. Right. Right? Like, you're, you're on the biggest stage with the big boys. And so understanding that first year, you were rolling. Yeah, well, it's funny. I mean, you, you were rolling too. No, no, <laughs> you, no. no, no but, I was, but, was... You, but you, But you, I mean, the great thing is, so our first year, was the first year of, of satellite t TV. <laughs> and I, I remember, I remember, you know, because you keep an eye on oh, you always. people in your class. That's right. But I felt like you, you know, you, you started to, to, to gain momentum. And, and just, you know, I might have started strong, but you really finished strong, you know? And, and that's, in some cases, that's even more important. No, it should that, Was that accurate? Yeah, no, no. It, yeah, I, I finished strong. Right. Uh, but it was just, you know, we... As Dallas, you know, we were coming off of winning 12 games, so we started winning games, and that comes contagious. And, like, hey, they started talking about the playoffs, making the eighth seed, and we were like, why not? Like, yeah. why not? So, you know, it, it's, it was hard because the one thing I struggled with was all the games. Because in the Western Conference, it was like Gary Payton, John Stockton, <laughs> I mean, Kevin Johnson. I mean, like... They, oh, this young kid, oh, let's show him what we really do. And mm -hmm. so, like, you had to be ready or you were going to get embarrassed, yeah. right? And so that was just, like, a lot to handle, yeah. you know, because then you had to produce, right? Being a high pick, like, are you going to, like, fall or are you going to rise? And so that was always on my mind, like, I don't want to be a bust. Yeah. I got to work harder. Grant had a triple-double, I got to try to have a triple-double. Right, he won, I gotta win. And so I just understand I said that earlier, like you were the measuring stick. Like you But you but you were that for me too. Well, I remember we came down to Dallas and I think after the game we might have gone to eat, we went out and you had a you had a Mercedes V twelve. 
And you talk about, because, you know, we, we kind of iron sharpens iron, and, you know, I looked right. at you, and so I went and got one after that. <laughs> <laughs> so not just what you did on the court, but also I remember you bought that car, and I, I can't remember. I, I, I think I got the same rims. I was like, man, this car right here, this is nice. You, got, you had a V12. Yes, right? yeah, you're right. You, I'm telling you, you got a great memory. No, yeah, oh, yeah you I do. Remember, I remember you all that stuff. Man. You got a, gr a really good memory. Let's talk about the adjustment to uh, life in the NBA from life in college ball. You guys are a couple of high-profile rookies. Does that save you from the rookie treatment, or do they give it to you on your teams? Well, they definitely did it to me. Uh, <laughs> and they've done it all year long. Uh, I can think of one incident where uh, after practice, the guys on the team hit my clothes, and uh, I was walking around with a towel for about an hour looking for my clothes. And uh, <laughs> So uh, they, they did it a couple times to me, actually. But uh, you know, for the most part, I've been, been a veteran. I can recall um, during Christmas, uh, we had a team dinner, and uh, they made me sing and also wear a big wreath that... <laughs> <laughs> that it was like a, a horse trophy that a horse would win. But that was probably the most embarrassing thing I had to do. No, it's funny. I, mean, I, was, I look back in my first year, I was pretty fortunate. We weren't a good team in terms of win, wins and losses, but I had guys that were pros. That's and, right. You know, kind of on the downside of their career, but just were able to deposit in me. And I was like a sponge trying to absorb as much as I, you know, as I could. And that's what you wanted, right. because they've been through it, right? They, no th their rule, the rule was the vets will pass on to the rookies, and then when you become that vet, your your responsibility is to pass on the knowledge that you have. So that rookie, when he becomes a vet, will be able to, you know, the it just keeps the dominoes just keep going. But the vets never told me how long that season and how many no, games. No, I don't think anything prepares you oh. for that first. And that wall? Yeah. You, everybody touches the wall. I think that I rookie hit the wall? wall, like maybe December, like, like, <laughs> maybe like late December, I hit the wall and I was just like, and in December, January, that was a rough, whew, I, I mean, it, period. That's a grueling time. It, it really, it is. I hit it early. But you pulled me along, no. even through that yeah. first year playing that many games. Right. Like I didn't know what city we were in. Right. I just knew that, ooh, I don't want to get embarrassed by GP because he's going to talk to me for 48 minutes and let me have it and let me know, like, oh, we're going to Detroit. I can't let Grant beat me because if Grant beats me, well, he's going to win rookie of the year, right? And so I had to compete and try to find a way. And that first year seemed like it was, it was two years in one because there was so many games. And then practice. Yeah. I thought training camp was lasted three months. <laughs> two a days. Like, oh, no question. Dick Mata was like, we're going two a days. Okay. That's fun. I love playing. After that first week, I thought two a days were done. No, no. We're going for another week. We went for the whole, whole month of preseason. Right. And yeah. then play like 10 preseason games. Mm -hmm. And you, like being a rookie, you got to get the bags off the plane. Yep. You got to get them off the bus. And if you didn't, they were going to let you have it. Mm -hmm. And so all that, and then have to play the game. See, I remember my rookie year, I was, I think I led the team in scoring, and rebounding, <laughs> Every, assists. Everything. Steals. Minutes. And I, and I had my, my, I had to carry the, the, the trainer's bag <laughs> when we got to the, uh, on the bus and to the airport. And then they gave me the job of, of picking up the wash rags in the shower. So I had to go in the trainer's room and get the gloves and pick up everybody's wash rag. And they'd leave it on the floor. Oh, on purpose. And so, but that was when, as a rookie, right. I didn't care who you were. Jason no. Kidd, Grant no. Hill, Big Dog, you had to, that's what you had to do. That was part of the culture, part of coming in and making that, that transition. This is welcome to the league. Welcome to the league. I was competing against you, but also pulling for you, if that makes sense. And so for it to kind of happen the way it happened, not even thinking that a tie was possible. I, 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 never, I, know, I never heard of a tie. Yeah. And I said, we're going to have to play for it? <laughs> <laughs> I know I'm going to lose now. <laughs>